Hey, what's up guys? I'm here outside of Namdaemun Market. You can see the fountain behind me. Water's not running, but uh, right here, Shinsege headquarters. Big Shinsege building. But I'm not going to go to Shinsege or Namdaemun Market today. I'm going to do a walk around video underground. We're going to go to the Kwehyeon Underground Shopping Center. This is uh, one of the bigger ones in uh, downtown Seoul. Uh, not the biggest though. Let's go take a look. So down here underground, you can find all kinds of uh, goods, <laughs> cheaper goods, I guess. Bags, handbags. This place is set up like a grid, so I'm gonna do the grid walk. Okay, so let's see, luggage, you can buy all kinds of luggage. If you guys need money exchanged, they do that service here too. Some like clothing boutique stuff, Ajuma clothes, shoes. We've got cameras. Find yourself some kind of old Hasselblad, Hasselblad kind of stuff. Here's kind of like an antique store, but it seems to be closed. Get some framing done here. Get some uh, Korean souvenirs. Some inlaid mother of pearl chests. Very nice and shimmery. See here too. Very cool. Very pretty. Yeah, and they also sell a lot of vinyl down here. Um, this one is apparently closed, but uh, vinyl shops, I think there's like two or three in this uh, underground market. Yeah, I want to say this is kind of like a small to medium size underground market. There are some really, really large ones. Uh, in Seoul as well as just uh, just outside of Seoul. I believe the largest one in Korea is in Incheon. Okay, I can see a record store over there, but I'm gonna come to that later. Follow the outline of the grid. Beads, pearls, beads, pearls. I just need some hiking shoes. Jewelry. It's the jewelry club. And here's more uh, hiking related stuff, including Indiana Jones hats. Uh, cool little restaurants here cheap good food to fill you okay so there was this pathway I'm gonna zigzag down through this area try to cover as much of it as I can for you guys yarn string it's kind of like a fabric store type of place This is a, some kind of like a central seating area. See, it looks kind of cool. We've got these uh, embedded TV screens, 
for you to kind of check out. Green talk show. More cameras. Okay, so I came from that way. Now I'm coming down this way. Yeah, I've covered this in another one of my videos back before I had the stabilizer. Good place to do some crate digging. Another place right there as well. Another place right here. Right next to a flower shop. And nice orchids and dried flowers. Hey, Corey. Oh, how you doing, man? Hi, hi. How are you? All right, guys. I was doing my walk, and I ran into Sin here. What's going on? Yeah. Say what's up, man. Hey, Sin from Atlanta. Yeah. Watching he's... this dude's video like nonstop <laughs> before coming here. So yeah. Uh, that I ran into him actually. Yeah, I, I'm sure as you guys can see, like right before this clip, like he was behind me, and he's like, "Hey, Corey." <laughs> I didn't know who just shouted my name, but it's really cool to run into a subscriber. We've been talking, um, and this guy's like super awesome. And uh, now he's going to be in the video. We're going to finish the underground um, uh, quick on underground market video, and he's going to come along. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's continue. All right. So uh, we got a lot of boutique shops over here. Let's see. Yeah. What do you think about this underground place? Um, I've noticed there's not a lot of vintage stuff. It seems like yeah. a bunch of uh, vintage records and a bunch of electronics. They're all tube stuff too, which is pretty expensive. Yeah, so, tube really, amps and stuff. Yeah, vacuum I mean, tubes. Like that one, for example. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, old school, yeah. And I noticed the uh, Techniques 1200. <laughs> That's Still like from the here. 90s. Is that the MK1, MK2? <laughs> That's old school. If you're an aspiring DJ, there you go. Come get it. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny, I used to mess around with DJ stuff back in the 90s in high school. And then I was like trying to save up for MK2s and then I decided not to be a DJ. I think my brother actually bought two and got in hella debt for it. Hella debt. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you can see over here, there's uh, just more vinyl shops. You can do a lot of crate digging here, as I said earlier. So really, really cool place. I don't know of any other places besides Hongdae that sells like vintage type of uh, vinyl. Oh. <laughs> 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 totally wiped out. Yeah. <laughs> he laughed it off though. Yeah, socks. Yeah, have you done a lot of shopping um, since you've been here? It's weird. I, I try, but it's like I'm trying to compare like prices. Right. But then I'm kind of screwed up on the money part of it because I just came from Japan. So it's like. Oh, the conversion. Kind of, yeah, it's throwing me off a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> So like, I'm, I'm confused about some of this stuff, but I'll figure it out. And they have a bunch of uh, cameras too, film cameras, which is cool. Yeah, Sin, Sin um, he used to collect like vintage cameras and stuff. So uh, he was telling me he noticed there's a lot of shops around here that have um, like oh, vintage stuff. stuff. Oh yeah, here's some bootleg uh, K-pop stuff. Oh, Kim Soo Hyun, oh my God. <laughs> But yeah, that's cool that you collected vintage cameras. Um, that's an expensive hobby. <laughs> it helped me out though when I was unemployed, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like to... shop is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, over here. Classic and collection. Let's take a look. Yeah, what do they got here? That's the old Leica Rolleiflex. Oh, look at that. You should see the other side. Oh, damn. There's some old, like, some very expensive stuff. I'm sure this stuff is uh, pretty expensive. I mean, I'm sure. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's got snakeskin. Snakeskin, like an uh, M5. Wow. Very cool. I need to come here for some lenses. Oh, they got some pretty nice, like, old leather cases, too. Some hard cases. You know, so, uh, what is this? Oh, CDs and are these cassette tapes or ah, they're CDs. Oh, cassettes are coming back. They are coming back. There's like a lot of cassette bars and uh, oh, really? clubs and stuff. You can go in and like 
check stuff out. They have a, a vinyl like library here in Itaewon. You can go in there and you can just like select some vinyl, chill out, listen to it with some headphones. We can't check it out, I'm sure. Yeah, it's just like only in within the, the building. Yeah, a lot of Ajima clothes, Manon. Yeah, but you should totally do a video on like the old dudes selling stuff in the streets. Cause that's just weird. The old dude selling stuff? Yeah, yeah like illegally without a permit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is, but I mean, Most it's likely. Like, yeah, it's weird, but it's like, I'm pretty sure they have some vintage, like, cool stuff that you don't think about. Yeah, there's a, like, out near Dongdaemun, there's, like, the Seoul fol uh, Folk Flea Market, and there's just, like, all kinds of old, weird, random crap. Some of it doesn't even work, but they still sell it, or try to sell it. What is this? Yeah, oh. they do old currency, too, of them Yeah, old, and really. Stamps. Old stamps and currency. Here, look, you can buy a $2 bill for about $3. <laughs> I think I can get that free. Actually. Can you? I think so. Oh, yeah, here's another shop. Oh, they even have like the Olympic, um, 88 Olympics telephone cards. That's cool. You know what I don't understand is like all the clothing that they have here. Yeah. Is it imported or is it made here? That's what I don't get. Uh, it. I don't know. That's a good question. I know there's a lot of um, clothing, like textile type of places, um, in Dongdaemun, but I don't know if it's cheaper to have it shipped in from like China or something like that. Whoa, Singer sewing machine. Tennis radio. Nice gramophone. Old oh, fans. Wow. Cool. The Edison Standard. Right there. Awesome. Yeah, it's very... It's like a wide range of stuff down in this underground area. And of course, beauty products. Heard that's the good stuff. Yeah. All right, so now we're kind of like back towards the beginning of the video. You can see this is now just beauty care products. It's skin, just in case you didn't know. And if you're hungry, there's skin food. Yeah, it's funny, your girlfriend, right? Uh, oh, Sandy, yeah. she's uh, <laughs> taking a nap right now. <laughs> she's gonna be like, wow. My bro's gonna be like pretty stoked about this, I guess. He's on YouTube. Holy crap, dude. Why was I taking a nap? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Okay, um, hey, let's let's head up to the surface. Right, let's do that. Yeah. All right, guys, and now we are back on the street level. As you can see, this is where we started, right outside of Shinsege uh, headquarters. There's the fountain again, right over there. And we're outside of uh, Namde Moon Market. Um, anyways, uh, oh, Sin, man. Nice to meet you. It was cool, and, uh, dude. Shout out to uh, the Swoops in Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Moped gang. Oh, that is Moped Gang. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so it was good running around and uh, running into Sin here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of the Kuehyun Underground Market. Definitely check his stuff out before you arrive. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. find out great stuff to do. Yeah, if you're coming to Seoul, check out my videos. Please subscribe. Please like this. Please share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.